There's a new rogue light for the Atari Jaguar, and in today's video, I'm taking a look at Kings of Edom, and this is available at Songbird Productions. This is a physical release, and you know, I love these aftermarket projects. You know, there's been some amazing games coming out for the Jaguar, and this is one of them. I am a huge fan of roguelike games. There's not much in that in the aspect of RPGs for the Atari Jaguar, so this is a nice and welcome addition. I'm gonna unbox it and show you some basic gameplay. Here we go. One thing about Songbird Productions boxes is they look like a retail release. It's just It's just amazing. And you know, I, I found out about this project on Atari Age like many other projects and just, just amazing. Comes in a black cartridge, uh, I like that. And it comes with a tray, a bag, and uh, a full color manual. And the manual is important and it's important that if you do get this to read it and to remember uh, the controls and information in the instruction manual it's going to help you out quite a bit it's going to make you progress farther in this game it's one of those manuals that you do need to read and it talks about the different various enemies and the stats and the things that you can find in this game very helpful let's take a look at the game all right here we go kings of edom and every game is randomly generated so you're searching the 12 realms and for the lost crowns and there's lots of different items and equipment here's a shop use gold at the shop to get various items that you need very important to manage your skills you can upgrade three different skills at once and so you choose the three skills that you want to specialize in it's very important what you choose so i'm going to kind of go with a tank and uh, go with someone that's better with hand-to-hand -hand combat you learn spells uh, it's there's various enemies and you just press in the direction of an enemy to swipe at them to attack them with your dagger you start out with and the upgrades from there you get various keys to unlock different areas in the map uh, I really like the control of this now each movement takes one food you get food along the way if you run out of food you start to starve to death um, and so it adds a whole additional level of strategy of moving around. Should you explore or should you progress farther down into the dungeon? Uh, you know, there's lots of different decisions and, and choices to make. Uh, there's many different ways of playing this. Uh, you know, from what I've played, I really enjoy it. So that's, that's bread up above there. It's very important you pick that up as, you know, that's going to keep you from starving to death. Uh, you know, uh, it is good to explore because you want to get enough armor and weapons to progress as you defeat enemies farther down into the dungeon each each stage each level and so you can push and pull blocks and sometimes you uncover equipment elixirs items and whatnot here's the map really cool this this game is just a lot of fun to play you know it harkens back to that old school dungeon crawler pen and paper uh, you know, just so many things I enjoy about this game. Uh, and so it, you get various items along the way. And it's really important. Uh, there's different strategies to do uh, to progress in this game. And I really, really found myself compelled to progress farther and to play this game one more time to see how far I can get. Ooh, ooh, I see armor. So I definitely want to get that. And, you know, sometimes it's good not to attack enemies. And just to get to the next area and save some hit points. So definitely want to equip that. Got some leather armor. Awesome. So my armor class goes up. And so, yeah, so I'll be able to survive a little bit longer. You also have magic spells in this game. And so uh, there's that aspect of the game, which uh, using that is going to keep you alive a lot longer. You have a basic heal and cure to begin with and you can find scrolls along the way and the scrolls will upgrade your magic very very important and so yes i pretty much focused on you know being kind of a tank and uh you know or, or a warrior and so definitely uh but there's different ways of playing this 
And that's that's the the benefit of a roguelike is you can play it over and over again. And it's a different it's a different path. It's a different game. And so really nice to see this game. Uh, just showing here right now, healing is going to save your hind more than once. And so definitely, uh, as you progress farther in the dungeon, there's you can get poison, and I'll show you that. And uh, it, it definitely adds another aspect of this game that makes it a lot of fun so keys unlock various areas in each level and different keys have different numbers and and only certain keys can work to uh, unlock doors and so it makes backtracking some kind sometimes a chore especially when food is limited so here's a spider here and i guarantee i'm probably gonna get poisoned so yep got poison and so there's a couple different ways of dealing with that. You do have a simple uh, cure and so a spell. And so I'm going to use that. You also can pick up antidotes, which can cure you from poison as well. So you want to be careful on not using your magic too much because you only have so much magic power and you have to find various potions to replenish that. And, you know, those are kind of sparse. And so you have to explore to find things. And so it's a balance of... Uh, exploring with enough food with the, the enough armor and attack to take out enemies and so I really enjoy the strategies used to progress in this game and so I found myself wanting to play it more and again to see if I can get farther um, you know I played it for about an hour to to really kind of figure out the gameplay mechanics and, and now I want to progress farther in this game to see if I can get uh, to the next dungeon and to progress just a little bit farther. Really enjoy what they've done in this game. It's just a simple roguelike, but it doesn't need to be complicated. Games don't need to be complicated to be fun, and this is a good example of this. Just a simple roguelike, but everything in a roguelike that you would want, um, and it's, it's, it's just a treat to have this on the Atari Jaguar as you know, the Jaguar didn't get many RPGs, as mentioned before. And I think that there's going to be many people that are going to play this one. This is definitely, you know, there's a lot of collectibles out there. You know, these type of aftermarket projects are done in very small batches. This is a game to play. This is going to be a fun game to, to play in someone's library and to show them, hey, this came out. This came out in 2021. You know, the Jaguar came out in 1993. So people are programming for this console, which didn't do well in the retail market. But passionate fans and fans who had this growing up or just, you know, wanted to make a game on this library have done it and have done it well. And so, you know, if this came out back in the day, this would have been great. And so I just really enjoy these, these projects, these, these passionate projects where programmers come together with artists and people making it uh, a reality to come out on physical cartridge and to be offered to the public. So just so neat. And so uh, I've been really enjoyed this one. Oh, picked up a shield. And so you pick up gold, golds for the shops where you can purchase additional items needed to survive. I don't know uh, how much longer I'm going to live here. <laughs> As you know, it gets pretty difficult. Lots of branching paths and things to uncover. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Got a sword. Got a sword upgrade. Very important to upgride your weapons and armor, especially as you progress. And so finding one is, is exciting. You know, that's what's great about these games. You know, you get excited about picking up upgraded weapons and armor as you know it, it's it's going to be your advantage as you move farther down into the dungeons this is a well done roguelike and a welcome addition to the atari jaguar library so there you have it what did you think are you into these roguelikes if you're interested in this game you can go over to songbird productions the link will be below where you can pre-order it and it's going to be released i do believe december 7th and so these types of aftermarket projects are done in very small batches the first batch has already been sold out but they're doing another batch and it's going to be released in december and i hope you can get in on it because i think it's an excellent game and a welcome addition to the atari jaguar so thank you so much. I cover lots of aftermarket 
homebrew projects, as well as many other videos. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. Thank you for watching and have a good day.